what's going on you guys uh, so it's a new day okay i know it probably doesn't look too new because it just probably don't but how y'all doing i am marquita and let me just say this i am um getting started a little later than i'd like to but nonetheless we're getting started okay getting my water in i definitely am trying to do better with that okay your girl just be slacking the one thing i hate about drinking so much water is i hate going to the bathroom all the time even though everybody say if you just stick to it you'll get your body will get used to it and you won't have to go to the bathroom as much i don't know but anyway as always even though i have been up for a little while I honestly did not really start my day yet. Um, I've been in bed, you know, placing some orders and doing some things. So I didn't get my day started, started, although I'm kind of, I, I don't want to get off task because I think I said I want to start my day, meaning <laughs> get up and say thank you you know show my gratitude do my meditation and all that so i'm getting ready to do my meditation now um i'm standing so you could kind of see my towel that my mat that i was trying to show you yesterday um yeah so it's kind of like a microfiber kind of look right you see the material like because if we sweat and you want something that's not gonna hold in the water and keep you dry and um like I said, I got this when I was doing hot yoga. And, you know, we perspire a lot, okay? It's hot in that joint. And when we down in them poses and you dripping sweat, hello? So, yeah. I'm going to let this down, okay? All right. So, I got my little space here. I actually got a um, candle going. You know, a lot of times they say smell, you know, give, give or whatever, give you a good aura or whatnot. So I'm going to go ahead and get started because I do, I have to run out and do some errands. So I think this is perfect because one thing about me, don't laugh, okay? I literally have this thing and I self diagnose myself. But I have the worst car anxiety. I'm not making this up. Like, I know somebody probably would be like, oh, God, you know, what is she talking about? Car anxiety? What is that? No, really. Like, when I get in my car, I'm on edge. And sometimes that could be <laughs> confused with road rage. I don't think it's road rage. It's really anxiety. Like my nerves go from here to here when I go. Like I could remember being a young girl. I could not wait to get my license. And I, as I got older, I hate driving, but I also hate depending on other people to do it. Like literally when God blessed my business to, to just flourish with no ends, like just constant abundance just flowing and flowing and flowing and flowing i thank you for it in advance i'm gonna be on my app looking for a driver like all the time as long as i can afford it right um i'm gonna be balling on a budget but i am gonna have somebody drive me around i'm gonna be sitting in the back seat not worrying about nothing okay at least i think well you know i will because Matter of fact, if I get a professional driver, right, you know, they're going to drive the speed limit. They're going to do what they need to do. And they have to deal. They, they, they are able to deal with that. I could just sit in the back and I could be like on my phone, listen to the music. I don't know. But, and I think a lot of other things contribute to my car anxiety too. You know, I do have a lot of people that were close to me that actually are no longer here due to vehicular accidents and 
you know, that could play a little part too. Um, I probably have had a few incidents in my life that I know I was spared. I did not get into those accidents, but I definitely seen my life flash before my eyes. And, um, yeah, let me leave it there. So, um, yeah, let me get started so that I can get outside and do what I need to do before everybody gets them running around crazy. Because for some reason, for these people to be um, not, they need more money, they be out spending a lot, okay? And your girl be trying to sit down so she don't spend a lot, okay? But anyway, we did enough talking. Let me get to it. See my little candle there, right? Ah, righty. Your girl is about to get some good meditation going. Alrighty. Hmm. And I know I said earlier that everybody says, oh, you don't have to be like, but that's what I'm about to do. <laughs> so, um, yes, here's the deal. I'm about to hit my meditation, um, speak the rest of my day in. And I wish, I think this is why it's important to start your day this way. Because um, when I tell you I can't make this up, yesterday was such an amazing day that, um, yeah, I was kind of like coasting and I had to get some rest because I really was tired because I had been up all day and all night. So, you know, but being at, it was a, it's a calming, right? So for right now, my day is probably, I'm about two hours in. I have not eaten breakfast. So I haven't done, I haven't had my coffee for today. I haven't had nothing. So I'm definitely breaking fast when I walk out of here. So this is the first thing I've had was my water. And enough talking. This is a little candle that I got from Bath and Body Works, which is a really good candle. It smells great. This is my first time buying this one, actually. Um, just for real, for real, I really have grown to love wallflowers, but it's just something about a candle that's still habitual for me. I just have to have them. So, um, yeah, so I'm getting ready to get started. Speak my intentions over the day. Um, bring about all the good positive vibes and, uh, I'm going to step out into the world for a little bit. And, um, yeah, so that's the first part of the video for today. And we're going to go out later after we get our mind back all right you guys i am on the move okay so i actually have to make a few runs i definitely forgot to um turn my camera on had to make a few drop-offs of, well, not a few, I had to make a drop-off, let me say that, a few, but you know, one of these days it's going to be a few, okay, but no, I had to drop off some packages, and now I forgot I need to go check my, uh, my mailbox, um, I have a mailbox at the UPS, so I'm going to go check that. I kind of hate that I, I want to change the office because I don't really care to be driving to this side of town because usually it's so congested and like you have to really map out your time like I keep looking because you know how some people be driving and you would think that they speed demons like we on the um racetrack or something they be coming zoom 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 and yeah so i be having to watch but anyways so you have to really map out your time to come to this side 
and me, I, I, I mean, I'm dead serious about car anxiety. I really feel like I have car anxiety. And usually, this is different for me because when I'm driving, I am usually like blasting some type of music. I mean, you don't know what it's gonna be. It could be gospel, a little bit country. It could be a little bit R&B. It could be some old school R&B. Whatever, it don't matter. And it might switch between all of them, right? Um, it's like, no matter how far I'm going, it's kind of like almost like a road trip. <laughs> you know, your road trip playlist is a monster. Well, at least mine is. I confuse everybody on a road trip with my playlist. But anyway, so I came out with my, my coat on. And let me tell y'all something. This weather is a fool. It is 68 degrees. No BS. 68 degrees. I can't make it up. I can't make it up. But I'm not I'm not mad. I'm pleased. Like it feels great outside. Like honestly, this is weather that if I didn't have other stuff to do, I would possibly be outside trying to go for a walk or something. You know what I'm saying? But since I'm doing this, and then I gotta go home and make some things shape. Maybe I'll walk tonight. <laughs> Even I had to laugh. See, look, 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 look. I'm, well, I'm saying look like you can see, you can't see. But yeah, so I had to move over and let this speed racer get in front of me. And what? What kills me is I let you in front of me and now you realize why I wasn't speeding like a speed demon. Because I could put my pedal to the metal too. But it's a reason why. And now here you are slow poping in front of me. Ah. But I'm trying to figure out. Now don't laugh because when I do this everybody laughs. But where the hell are y'all going? Like why ain't nobody at work? And I tried to pick my time to come out like when I think everybody should be done with being out for lunch um, or first thing in the morning, like after everybody should be clocked in at work. No, they still be out. What y'all doing? But then they could be thinking that about me too. They could be like, where y'all ain't at work? Why you ain't at work? But technically, technically I am at work. I'm just handling work business. Right? Can I say that? Because I am. I'm at work. I'm just going to run an errand. So I guess maybe that's what they're doing too. Now, the, the, the cars that are business cars and, you know, you see their little, uh, what you call those things? The magnets that you put on your car. The car magnets or you drive in the van or the truck or whatever it is with your business. Now, okay, I know you're probably on your way to another job or you on your lunch break. I get it. But and sometimes I hate coming to the mailbox because it get depressing <laughs> because sometimes I don't come every day now one thing I wish I did have is a real true local assistant like I cannot wait until I get my space where I can incorporate my entire business in that space like i want a location where i can have this you know kind of like a shopping center kind of like thing but of course i don't want a shopping center right i'm not saying that but i'm saying like if you're someone that has multiple businesses where if you could it would be lovely if you could get a space where maybe in the front it could be this business and then you go around a corner you can kind of you know build it out so that there's a separation in there and you can do both so you can leave one job one business and go and check on the other right that would be ideal for somebody like me because it's so hard when you're trying to have your work life mixed in with your um business life wait your work life mixed in with your personal life so working from home it's rough. 
because you can always think of something so crazy to do when you should be doing some work like you be over here like dang you know what you know you most of the people like when you have any type of business at some point you have to get on social media right so i get on social media and what do i see i see a food video where the food looks so good right so i'm supposed to be sending out emails and instead of sending out an email i'm on the, the uh website the supermarket uh whole foods or 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 or, or like harris Tito, or whatever the grocery store is and i'm ordering the ingredients online and then now that took away from i supposed to be doing emails but i'm ordering food to get delivered right then it turns into oh god this phone call just stressed me out i'm just gonna take a little break from it real quick and guess what else you're doing now you in the kitchen cooking what you saw online and now you can't just cook it and not eat it right then now you eating and now that leads to me working until 11 a.m 12 a.m <laughs> crazy so um yeah who got time now this i'm over here and I, this used to be my spot i used to my office used to be over here and so um when i tell you this used to be my favorite starbucks but now where I am, like the, the Starbucks is literally around the corner from me. And so, um, oh, what are you doing over here? But, um, so yeah, it's literally around the corner from me and it has a, um, drive through I mean, these things get us so spoiled and I want to get a Starbucks because I still have not eaten anything. All I've had was water since I've been up. And so I want to at least get something, right? Maybe I'll get, instead of a coffee, maybe I'll get a one of the green tea things. Like a peach green tea, maybe. If they got the flavor. Because one thing about Starbucks, they stay running out of stuff. Oh, we don't have any more of this. Oh, we don't have any more of that. Oh, we don't have any more of that flavor. And you be like, what the hell y'all got? They always running out of stuff. You know that time of year when they be having those the chocolate cake? Look at me, I'm so fat. But yeah, but when they be having the chocolate cake and whatnot, yeah. And then they be like, oh, we don't have no more. Yeah. So anyways, I'm getting ready to go in here and get some mail which is probably gonna be a lot because your girl don't come check this mailbox often she just come every now and again and that is not always good so yeah that's the deal um y'all still be wearing y'all mask when y'all go in places y'all better okay y'all better but anyway i'll be back y'all All right, so I am back, okay? Not so bad this time. Look, I only got a few. Last time I had mad mail, like full, 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 but this time it wasn't too bad. I could deal with that. I could deal with that. And it was not busy inside, right? So they're doing some type of fundraiser out here. It looks like they've been doing it out here for a minute. I am, I, um, what's this, the... I think it's like the sheriff's department or something like that i donated the last two times i came here i'm like how long they be doing how, how long they gonna be collecting money because every time i come over here i ain't donating now forgive me because one thing about me i i like to go to the source so one thing that i will say is this year i feel so bad because you have to really be prepared to do certain things and you have to honestly it has to make sense financially um i have to uh realize how to organize things because what i do want to do is um definitely be a part of helping the people that are a little less fortunate than myself and just because i may not be in the holiday christmas spirit and all that good stuff that does not mean that other people are feeling this way like me personally as of late 
I honestly am not the person to talk to about holidays. I'm not into it. Like I'm I'm gonna hang out and and love on my family, but I'm not into it. If that if you get what I'm saying, I'm really not. I am not the person that wants to be putting up all the decorations. I am not the person that's going to be at every store spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars just to, you know what? I was going to come here, but it looks like it's a line. Okay, so I was going to go to the Starbucks here, but one thing about me, I ain't the person that wants to always be getting out my car, and I want to hurry up and get from down here. So let me turn around and do an about face. And at least if I get closer to my house, then I feel comfortable. So I'm going to go to that Starbucks because the beauty of it is I can order my stuff right from my phone and drive right through the drive through So when I get close, I can pay, place my order and then I'll go pick it up. But anyway, so I do want to next year do a lot more things. Um with my business for the community areas for my employees there's so much stuff but you really do have to plan like plan 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 like you cannot just jump out the window and just do anything it just won't turn out the way you want and me I, I'm not like an extreme perfection perfectionist but yeah Okay, you guys, so I'm so sorry I got cut off because I was actually, um, I got a call. That's the one thing about when you're recording on your phone and then you have to stop because something comes through. And like for me, I got a phone call that I had to take. So I'm back, backity back, and I'm on my way to pick up my order, like I said. Come on out, sweetheart child because they don't be paying attention and, and she looked like yeah she won't pay attention at all she was about to come on out of here and not care but um i had placed my order while i was talking on the phone so that was good i was able to multitask that so i placed my order and um now i'm picking it up because i am about to go inside Hi, welcome to Starbucks. This is Hunter. I have pickup, please. Yes, hi, Hunter. Um, I am picking up a mobile order for our staff nurses. All righty. I have a little place out with this window. Thank you. Thank you. I'm telling you, I hope you guys remember the story I told you about when you change your name. When you do, when you're able to use an app to do your um orders, I'm telling you, that's a nugget. Okay that's a nugget to utilize your name or what you do or something like that to kind of bring attention to it so i've been using the the I staff nurses um at one time i was um i can't remember what my saying was for um my hair business but it wasn't my actual name main elevation because it's kind of like okay it sounds good and it pops but it's like main elevation like you know Especially depending on where you are, it might not pop through. It, it don't give what it need to give because of the areas that I'm usually in, right? So anyways, so yeah, so I'm recording on my phone, of course. And so when the phone rings, of course, it stops my um, video. I cannot remember for the life of me what we were talking about. So sorry. Um, But I am on my way home. So I can finish being productive. I just ordered a chestnut praline coffee with a banana nut bread, warm. And that's what I'm gonna have. That's the first thing I'm having for today, outside of water. Did I mention it's 70 degrees outside? I hope so, because it is 70 degrees outside. Good, how are you? Thank you. I appreciate it. Have a good one. Thank you. So, 
Yep. So I just got my order. Y'all know. <laughs> Hello. And so, um, yeah. Cause I told y'all about my experience with that sugar cookie um thing. Yeah. No. <laughs> Not only is the fact that I'm not like the hugest sugar cookie person, not that I dislike sugar cookies, but I'm not that person like, give me that sugar cookie child. No. No, not at all. Mm. They, yeah, they got it. This one's good. Not that it usually isn't, because it usually is, but sometimes the pens you know you get that real like real bitter 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 coffee taste sometimes yeah it's happened to me before and i know i told them to warm up my cake and it ain't, it ain't as warm as i want it i'm like this is not warm this is room temperature <laughs> um people are always complaining <laughs> i'm people <laughs> Yeah, I'm people. Mm -mm -mm. So, over here, there's like so many different, like they just built recently um, a new apartment building. I guess this is going to be an extension of the business, re you know, whatever they want to call this little area. A one bedroom apartment, because of course when you look at it from the outside, it looks like this extremely fancy apartment. <clears throat> High ceilings and all that. Um, balconies with a ceiling fan and all that. It look like I think they got an elevator too. Right across the street from a Starbucks and multiple banks and all that. Oh, I was going to tell y'all how much the apartment, right? One bedroom. $2,000. One bedroom. $2,000. And it won't, the, the video didn't skip. It was me saying it again to make sure you understood that I knew what I was saying. Okay. Uh huh? Yeah. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ham. No, ham. No, whatever. Whatever. No. At the rate that it took them to put that building up, which was not any time. I would be remiss to believe that they are um, worth the amount. I'm telling you, I'm so sick of these apartments coming with these apartments that are put together in like two months. You think because you put a granite countertop and some stainless steel appliances in the mofo that now you can just automatically label it as luxury and charge this extreme sticker price and it don't be worth it. Like seriously, it really do not be worth it at all. And I mean that, like it does not. And I, I'm always so upset because the audacity, okay? It be the audacity of these people doing that. It's horrible. So anyways, we made it back. Okay, we made it back. I'm about to get the party started. Okay. I'm about to do something productive. There's so much stuff I need to do. I have, like, laundry to fold. I don't know about y'all, but um, me and laundry, it be, it be, like, a mess. Because one minute, I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm washing all my laundry. And then next thing I know, I'm just looking at it, looking at me. Not folding it, hoping that it folds itself. Bad. And I know I won't raise like that. 
My mom always says, as soon as you get the clothes out of the dryer, go ahead and fold them up, hang them up, whatever you're going to do, so they won't get wrinkled. She know her daughter don't like ironing. To this day, I don't like ironing. When I was in the military, when I would take my clothes to the dryer, the dry cleaners, no bullshit. No bull. I would just... They, they used to get my stuff so crispy that all you got to do when you wash it, put that joint in the dryer for about 30 seconds to a minute if you really want to get that thing like warm on your body, especially when you know you just getting out of the shower and you need something warm on you. So you do like a minute when you get out. So by the time you finish doing your thing, you could go get it out, put it on. It's like I ironed it and I didn't. <laughs> trifling as hell um but i looked good though and i shined the shoe i shined the boots you hear me i can't make it up but anyways so i'm about to get inside and do what i need to do and i'll be back what's up y'all okay so check it out i am like literally having to remember to come back and hit that play button okay oh wait record button y'all know what i mean so anyways so i made it back in i've already had my coffee um from starbucks which was divine and my what did i had banana nut bread right so that's all i had for today um so your girl is almost getting hungry, but I don't feel like cooking. So, um, my stomach ain't growling or nothing yet. <laughs> so anyways, here's the deal. And y'all excuse me because, yeah, I gotta do this. So I'm still trying to get some things situated inside. Oh, is it raining? can't tell but anyway so i'm in for the night um like i said i'm still like i'm moving slow you guys ever like been straightening up a little bit and then you you like gotta do one area at a time and um <laughs> you're trying to multitask which is what i'm doing is multitasking and yeah so i've been taking a few um calls which one day i wish i could um remember to have a see that's the beauty of having a camera and don't get me wrong i have two phones so i could if i was thinking about it i could be recording while i'm on my phone that i actually use to talk and um handle business and then i could be recording on the other one because like i said i have not bought a camera that i could record on um i have a camera but i don't think it's so old i don't really think that you can record on it i'm gonna see if i can i'm gonna check it out i'm not too sure i'm gonna have to see if i can find it and when i find it i'm gonna look and see if i can record but i haven't had a camera since then it's been so long and um, I'm just putting a few little braids in this because this is probably going to be something I'm going to wear my hair tomorrow. Like, you know, you know how it go. But anyways, so I'm finishing up my day. I will be doing a lot of things because y'all know I went out and ran some errands and earlier my day started um a little later than I would have liked. So the deal is that I need to post a few jobs. Um my assistant is doing something else for me. This would have been a task that I would have loved to have her help me with. But since I, I felt like the other 
task was probably something that she would be much better at. I'm going to have to like literally sit down and um, do this. Now, I got some stuff like I'm in my other room here. So I want to fix this room up to kind of be, I don't know. I don't know, but either way, this is where I spend most of my time at because it's so, it's just, a, it's like a, you know how you have like a blank canvas and you can just see so much, like you ever seen like an undecorated um, a, a house before you move in and you could just get the visual of what you want it to look like. Like I feel like when I'm in here, I could be so creative and I can get so much stuff done because I don't, I'm not, it's not a whole lot of distractions in here. I, I guess that's what I could say. It's not a lot of distractions like you in here watching TV and all that other stuff. That's not happening in here. So I'm like, okay, I could get, I could get some stuff done. And a lot of times in here, I'm doing my, I got to redo my bed and everything like that. So right now I'm not on the bed. Um, I have to find a space, which I probably, my, um, I have like a little space on, um, a lot of space in the closet area that I don't use. So I probably will fix that up and let that be a place where I can put like a little, little small, little table desk in a corner somewhere. And then, um. That's where I could kind of like go and get my quiet because right now this is like the quiet space. Um, I have company. So right now I just need space. And, and look, I ain't doing nothing special. I just get, what? what's this? What, two, four braids. Four little braids, right? Four little braids that I got. And I'm going to tuck them in my scarf. Right? Boom. Boom, 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 boom. All right. So what I'm doing, I, you know, this is so weird because I'm not used to just like getting on here and just like sharing everything. So, okay. Here is, and I have so many, don't, don't judge. I have so many windows open and look, y'all, you got to improvise sometimes like right now because I'm waiting to um get my my bed and stuff straight i got so much stuff on there i got stuff i need to fold i got to change the sheets all that so here's the deal look at that make shift little table here this is my box i keep a lot of stuff that i use um for the house like i'll keep it um in here like a storage okay so um I don't know about y'all, but I be buying like a lot of stuff in bulk and like this is my box with all my like towels and stuff, you know, and I used to buy this stuff anyway for the office and stuff like that. So we can have paper towels and stuff in the um office. You see, you, you know, you know what these towels look like. So I still have more. So I pulled this box out. And I'm sitting here on the floor and I'm handling business. I'm on the computer. Um, I, don't, I know you don't know what you're looking at, but these are like jobs that I have for some of my nurses and surgical techs, people, all my medical people. I have all this stuff in here. So I'm just looking through to see the jobs that I want to choose for my people um, and place them on... Yeah, place them on my website and place them on uh, what I have here. My, I utilize, and, and for all of you, and I know you can't really see, but this is a lot. They are, like right now, I have like a hundred, excuse me, hold up. Can I zoom in? Is it a way? I don't think I know how to zoom. I can't zoom. Oh, that's whack. Anyways, so here. I'm trying to see if I can write here. It'll show you. I have 
Child, how you how y'all be zooming in on stuff? Child, who got time? Y'all know. Look. Can you see the number? The number here, it says 1,120 jobs. You probably didn't get to see that. And look, so I've been in here doing a whole lot. Um, I've been doing a whole lot of extra stuff. Especially like while I'm in here, like cleaning up. I got the dryer running. I got all this stuff and then i said oh i better sit down and try to get some stuff done um i'm doing it in like steps so right now this is what i'm doing i do have to send a few emails out um and i don't want to open too much stuff up because i don't want to put people's personal business on here but i'm in between this and checking my emails you know i'm getting i've had to deal with all kinds of personal things these are all these emails here are for jobs um following up with um, my clients this is a follow-up about an invoice let me tell you something let's talk about that real quick for those of you providing services for companies clients uh especially in the world of um, working with independent contractors, if that is your your thing, um, you have to stay on top of your stuff because at this moment, everybody is all about trying to save a dollar, okay? And if they can get you to do what they want you to do, like, for example, this client has not paid her invoice in 65 days. So I usually will bill my clients net 30. Net 30 meaning you have 30 days to pay this bill. So it's been 65 days. According to her, when I sent the email and I'm like, hey, I'm following up because as I'm looking through my paperwork, I'm noticing that it has been 65 days. And the reason why sometimes I can overlook that is because I, I invoice weekly. Okay, and so I'm not only invoicing them, I invoice a few other people too. And so sometimes you kind of lose sight because everything is flowing, flowing, flowing. And so I always pick a day where I will go back and I will check. This one I missed. And when I caught it, it was from my um, payroll people. And they told me like, hey, you know, I don't know if you noticed it, but... You know, you have an invoice that has not been paid. And of course, um, yeah, let's pay that. So I reached out and sent the email that I got from my um, payroll person. And so I got a response back and they were like, well, you didn't, we didn't pay it because the owner says she's not paying it you need to change the invoice because this particular person was a no call no show on this particular date me before i respond to anything that anybody says and i suggest it don't matter what area of work i'm talking about work or as a business owner you never reply until you yourself go back okay because we're all human sometimes we miss something and it's possible that you could have missed something. So I always, when I read the email and I read it carefully and I say, okay, you said this person didn't work on this date. They were a no call, no show. I need to take it off. I'm, I'm in taking everything. And that's the whole difference between, even if it wasn't on email, you know how two people are, we're talking and one person just gotta be right. So they hear you, but they don't hear you, if that makes sense. People listen to respond and not to understand a lot of times. Um, I know you've heard that a lot, but it's so true. And at one point in my life, I was that person too, because I always felt like I had to be on defense about a lot of things. But as I got older, I'm like, you know what? It ain't even, it ain't even never that deep. So anyway, so I read it, I looked back, I keep all my emails. So all you got to do really is go and hit that hit that search right there, put the name in there. 
um because usually when i when i engage with my clients i usually try to put something in the subject line pertaining to the email that's very con like precise like i know if i hit this in the search bar everything with this person's name is going to show up you know so i looked it up and usually when you have a no call no show if you are someone in a managerial slash leadership role you're gonna let the people know like hey this particular person never showed up on this particular day i looked just to clear myself and i said okay i looked there i said okay i don't see where she sent me no email the the the, the manager never sent me an email um i don't even receive an email from her i said okay I check my phone one thing I do is if there is anything from that person I keep those people are in like a folder and so I will see if I put in the search on my phone it will show how many times that person has called or anything so I look particularly for the date of 9 30 I seen no phone call or anything because even if she doesn't send an email she usually will call but for um purposes of keeping track of certain things you always want to put it on the email so when somebody try to play with you you could go back and you could say uh-uh on this date this is what happened so anyway i checked my phone i checked the work phone log to see if the young lady had called me to say she need to call out nothing last but not least okay i checked the app we use an app for clocking in and clocking out the app that i utilize we have what you call geo fencing on it so it does not let you clock in unless you are in the vicinity and when i say that i mean it very close you can't you can maybe clock in while you're in the parking lot maybe but for the most part you better be at, in that building and then you could press clock in you cannot clock out without a signature and being in the building okay um you can't even clock out without the signature if i could be clear like the signature if you try to say clock out and a manager a supervisor or anything does not sign it will just keep kicking you back so it'll let you know it'll light up the spot that says signature and this is where a camera would be in handy be handy because then I could show you what I mean when I show you when I'm when I'm telling you you can see what I'm talking about on the app but anyway so I I uh, downloaded the actual timesheet from that day which was 9 30 where said individual worked a double shift so I took that I downloaded it because whatever's on their computers, on their um, phones, it is, of course, transferred. You can see it. I can see it on my computer. Like if somebody's scheduled to work tomorrow at 7 to 3, they go in at, it's seven, at 7.05, 7.07. If they have not clocked in, I will get an alert to say, hey, um, Tanya Harden didn't sign in at 7. And then it will give me an alert to check and say hi tanya are you at work and then you can remind her if you're at work i need you to clock in okay and then just tell me if she was just getting there or whatever the situation is as long as she clocks in if she's going to be there so i downloaded that from the computer went back um and i wrote a nice message and i said hi you know unfortunately um you know what you're telling me is not true like this young lady is pretty much um no i didn't say that of course but i just pretty much in so many nice words i say you know um holding on to an invoice and not paying because you want a adjustment of an invoice without telling me that's not acceptable and at the end of the day this young lady went to work she actually worked a double shift she worked from 7a to 3 7a to 3 3 to 11 she worked a double that day and she's not even allowed to clock in or out without being at your facility and receiving a signature in which she has both in which you will see in the attached document and so i sent that and i said 
if you can prove that this young lady did not come to work i will be more than happy to make adjustments on that invoice but other than that we need to make sure this invoice is paid I'm still here, but I got quiet because it, it gets annoying when, because we're all in this thing and everybody's trying to run a good business. People are still trying to be savvy with money and not, you know, overdo it, overspend. But when you try to get over on people, that's nasty. And believe me, people do it all the time. So anyways, I got a response back probably like 30 minutes later. And she's like, you know what? I do apologize. I assumed that you were notified via the way that said owner client slash client stated that um that's what she wanted you to do so i thought that this was already discussed and i do apologize however i went to the uh the manager and we pulled the um we pulled the daily schedule from that date and you are indeed correct she did work a double shift she was here so we will get this taken care of immediately you know but you know the it's the it's the principle for me you know what i'm saying like don't try to get over and tell me and don't tell me to do something you should be asking and like i told her if you could prove to me that this young lady did not come to work that day i would definitely have no problem paying changing this invoice but if you can't show me where she didn't show up to work i can't do nothing for you but request my money that's all i can do so yeah so that's how my day kind of ended when it was you know dealing with the client so right now i'm in the mode of um uh, attempting to I'm sorry, um, attempting to finish my, um, my, my response and all that good stuff to my clients or applicants and things like that. So now is the time where I can actually sit with myself, put these, um, jobs that I choose that I think would be very beneficial and I could put them in my system here in my recruiting board. So much work y'all. So anyways, this is what I'm doing right now. So I utilize um of course if you guys are work you know you know employees a lot of employers either use there's like two big companies that everybody is using right now and it's either paychex or freaking um adp now i had adp in the beginning but let me tell you something i had adp when i was a baby in business and i spent more money doing invoice small invoices because they had this thing where you had to run payroll a certain amount of times before they decide they don't they want to cancel you you know what i'm saying like and i was a very big i was a baby baby like i literally was just getting things started and um i didn't have any clients yet like none like i was still marketing my business and uh i think i spent more money on invoicing than anything like it was beyond me and i felt like they took advantage even though the product they was um offering with the full package was amazing because it does it's very helpful and so with that being said it was very helpful however at the end of the day um yeah i felt like it was very a, a very deceptive situation i think that they got me in there with all of this for a free three what two three months and then after that of course the bs came 
And so I felt like I'm I'm always transparent with my with my situation. I don't try to sugarcoat it. I don't be in here talking about I got a hundred employees when I really only got five. Like I'm not that type of person. I'm not telling you I made a hundred thousand dollars when really I only made ten thousand. Like I'm not gonna do that. I'm very open because I need you to understand what my situation is and what my needs are because this is if this is your lane and you're selling this, I will hope that you will understand how beneficial it is. And this is for anybody in business. It's extremely beneficial to just treat people with integrity and um, have some morals, you know, have some because, and, and I understand this is people are out here trying to get commissions and all this stuff. But I promise you in the end, when you really are being good to people with your products if you're a product selling person and you're not trying to just grab the biggest commission you could get the biggest price you could price tag you can muster up i promise you that when people are really ready to drop the bag on you they're gonna drop it you see what i'm saying if, if i'm a, if i'm saying it correctly so just say, for instance, if they would have just looked at my situation and said, you know what, Marquita, I know you want to get all that great stuff, but let me tell you, the basic products will work perfect for you right now. And then come back when, when the business starts rolling, 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 and let's make that happen. I would be more inclined. First of all, I'd still be with you. Second of all, I'd still be... Um, I'll be adding products every day because I, I I utilize everything that my business can can um utilize with paychecks. I buy it. I'm like they like can you? Do that? I'm like yes. You want to offer your people um discounts on hotel rooms, car rentals, amusement parks, phone bills. You want to offer that for your um people? I'm like I think that's an amazing tool for them. I think that's great. I would love to. I know you know they work hard. I want to offer that. I added new that's an extra bill okay you want to do um you want to offer them 401k like how you want to do this you want to do that I think that'd be great you know what business is, is picking up and picking up more and more and more absolutely I think that they deserve that it, I didn't start off with that though I started off with a smaller package which they were the ones that told me to do that after I explained what I had just dealt with. And now, anytime, if it makes sense, I get it. So all my money goes into this company. And that works with anybody. Even if it's a small business. Especially service-based people. You may want to only get um, somebody to do your Instagram page or your Facebook page or something like that. But maybe they offer a lot of content and stuff. So they do so good with this and they work with you and their budget isn't killing you. And now business is picking up, picking up, picking up. And you're like, you know what? You did such a good job with my Instagram. You you mind if I add YouTube on there? You mind if I add my website on there? You mind if I, you know, and hear it. And it comes. You know, sometimes you have to remember that relationships, one, are amazing. Don't be out here trying to be using people and just be a taker. That's, that's not cool. That's 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 mucked up. I hate a user. I hate a taker. Okay? You you that's the quickest way for me to be like cuz I don't like those people. Um I am and I don't want to say um strong words. I'll say I have a strong dislike for that behavior because the person may be a decent person, they just have bad ways. So that's where I'm going to go with that. But then you turn around and then you have um, the people that they do good and you like you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna look out for you right and so relationships are important and just being good people you know what I'm saying if you're good to people that stuff trickles down people remember when people good to them and they come back and it comes around full circle. So if you run in any type of business or just in general in life, you know, people remember who was good to them. People remember all of that. And when you give and it comes from a good place, whether, and I'm not talking about just giving things to people. Sometimes it's time. Sometimes it's advice. Believe it or not, 
um, a lot of people are extremely appreciative of someone just sitting down, taking time to tell them, you know, give them great feedback. You know, I have a person that I talk to that even though I always call and we just have conversations, little business talk, little chit chat, how's life, you know, things like that. I always show gratitude. You know what I'm saying? You may get a, a random Starbucks card from me because thank you. You know what I'm saying? You didn't have to sit down and talk to me or sit down and listen to me or sit down and give me feedback. Um, so definitely tis the season of giving, right? Give a little give a little kindness, give a little patience, give a little time, um, give give a lot of uh, uh, of goodness and it will always come back like a boomerang. I really truly believe that and that's why I tell people you you after a while you don't have to go looking for certain stuff they come looking for you when you just good a good person and the right people that you help they're gonna spread the, the, it, the, it's gonna spread i know some people think that bad news or bad things spread faster but you know what there is a there's a little piece of that that's a little wrong i think a lot of people would share goodness you know as well but anyway, I don't want to start rambling. I'm going to get back to my emails and um, posting my jobs and stuff like that. And like I said, don't be playing with my makeshift desk. I'm making it do what it do. I am here. Usually, I'm all over the place. I could be in my kitchen and stuff. But like I said, I have you know somebody's out there. So I don't want to be in the way. I want to be in here doing my own thing for a little while. Um, so, yeah. Okay, I'm going to get everything straightened out and yeah, so today was a good day. Listen, listen, I'm going to get this vlog and stuff down. When I start doing more interesting stuff, like maybe I'm definitely trying to figure out the whole moving things and do all this if I want to cook something one day because I, I, you know, I got to get back in the kitchen. I'm trying to stop eating out and um like I said, doing a lot of things a little bit better. I'm not going to put a label on what I'm doing. I'm not going to say I'm on a diet. I'm not going to say I'm on nothing because I, as soon as I say that, you're going to see me eating a crab leg, drinking a soda pop, or having a drink, which I am overdue for a nice drink, a nice cocktail because I think I'm going to do it after Christmas. After Christmas, I think I'm going to have a nice cocktail. Mm. Yeah, I can't wait. It's gonna be it's gonna be good. And we're gonna do it together. How about that? So, anyways, y'all, I'm about to get back to my stuff. It was real. I think I am getting ready to get the hang of all of this vlogging stuff. I think it's pretty cool. Um, but I gotta get more interesting um things to show you because I know y'all really don't care about my emails. Y'all probably don't care about my job posts and stuff like that. But maybe you do. I don't know. If you do, let me know you do. But um I also will pop a review in. I don't know when, but I will. And again, please don't forget, if you're looking for, if you're in the market for any um, healthy hair care products, please don't hesitate to check out www.mainelevation.com. I will put it in the description box. Subscribe because we are working on new things new items a new community um we're gonna have some good community situations over there i mean i'll be hearing y'all um create creators out there all the youtubers and the content creators complaining about how um the two be acting up and um i don't have time for that and i honestly really just do not want to be censored with the communication the, the way we communicate the way we vibe um all that monetization stuff i mean it's cool and everything but that's not the biggest reason why i started youtube at all um i really just want to connect with people i want to share um conversation things and like that um so and just have like i said if i'm not having fun with it it's not even gonna work out for me anyway so it's the minute i turn it into work um i think is when i will be like because i quit my i quit my job so that I can work, but for me, okay? And um, although sometimes it's stressful, I don't regret it a day. I don't regret it a day. 
because I know that at the end of the day, um, things will change, things will turn around. Um, I will have more freedom and flexibility. So I don't really trip on nothing because I already know that um, change is coming, baby. Just get ready. Hold on to your seats, okay? Nah, no, seriously though, but you know, you got to kind of know things um, take a little work and I ain't never been scared to do no work. So at the end of the day, y'all be good. Stay safe, stay healthy, keep that mask up okay keep that mask up wash them hands um use that sanitizer y'all need sanitizer that's one thing i gotta buy to put in my boxes for my people is some sanitizer i don't know i usually probably give them to my nurses and stuff but you know y'all that that's out there in in the um, beauty world y'all need them too right everybody need a little sanny but anyways um videos continuing every day tomorrow will be a new day would that mean it'll be a new video Please subscribe to this channel, subscribe to my website as well, and shop if you please. And um, yeah, I'll check you tomorrow.